TIs, stay away from numerology. And I'll tell you why shortly. But first, please help my humble channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof. Why? Because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. So first and foremost, there's very little, there's basically nothing in the Bible to suggest you looking out for numbers is biblical. There is a woman, I do not remember her name, she popularized angel numbers. The basis for angel numbers is that angels are trying to communicate with us and they're giving us these numbers and we communicate with God in the name of Jesus. That's how Jesus told us to pray. We're not even to pray to Jesus. We're to pray to God in Jesus' name. This lady who popularized angel numbers, she accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. She renounced them. It's not of God. Guys, and no, I'm not bragging. The Lord made me do this. Be humble, okay? I have read through the Bible from Genesis to Revelation like 25 times. From Genesis to Revelation 25 times. There's nothing in the Bible about numerology and look into numbers for direction. Virtually nothing. God, you know, in the book of Acts, it talks about signs and wonders. So is it possible that God's giving you numbers and those numbers may correlate to Bible verses you're supposed to be reading? It's possible. I don't know. You've got to pray about that. But looking to numbers for direction is going to distract you from God. What I've told you to do works because I'm living it. I've told you, beautiful born again TIs, to tithe your time to the Lord. Two hours, 24 minutes a day in prayer and reading his word. That's every day without fail. And that's minimum. And I've told you, help the poor. Which, this is one where you guys really don't want to do it. You want to go to something that's nebulous and that's sinful. These are the girls that I sponsor because the Lord makes me, not because I'm bragging, I'm bragging about the Lord. He makes me take my SSI and give most of it to the third world. Jesus said, what you do unto the least of my people, you do unto me. It's similar to a lot of so-called Christians. They're going to the stars and eclipses, and this eclipse is going to pass through Salem, cities called Salem. Seven. That's something that's called prognostication. When you basically are trying to determine the future based on things that happen with with celestial bodies, right, with planetary bodies. God is specifically against that, okay? If you want direction, if you want hope, turn to the Lord. If you want to get to know the Lord, just like you get to know a personal, fr personal friend, start doing what Jesus said. Jesus said your life is to be a living sacrifice. Many of you, you'll go on vacation, you'll spend your money on memberships, subscriptions, cable, eating out. When eating in is generally tastier, it's always cheaper and healthier. Okay, going to the movies, you won't sacrifice any of that. You know that there are people starving to death. You know that if you do your homework, you can find a reputable charity where you can sponsor a child, save someone's life, but for you, you're more concerned about having fun with that money and having lifestyle with that money than you are about your life being a living sacrifice, like God said. And you won't even sacrifice going on a vacation or a lot of this other garbage you don't need to survive. Paul says, you, if you have clothing and food, you are to be content with that. UTIs are spending your money on a bunch of garbage and it's evil when you know, and you sure as hell do know now, because I'm telling you, when you know that that same money that you, you can live without Netflix or a gym membership or going on a cruise or a vacation, you can live with all that, without all that shit. These folks, they have nowhere to get food. When you do that and you know you can save another human being's life from starvation, what you're doing is evil. It's no different 
than watching someone get their ass kicked, watching someone come out of the blue, just start beating the hell out of someone, and you just keep walking. And we've seen people do this all the time. You'll have 25 people walk past, and finally someone steps up and, and tries to prevent this person from being beat to death. All those people who walk past, they're evil. They're evil. What, what they did was evil. And you, when you go on a vacation, and you can take that money to save a human life, and you put your fucking fun above helping people who might otherwise starve with what you're doing is evil. It's no wonder that you don't know the Lord and you've got to turn to the stars and prognostication or mediums or psychics or numerology. You don't know God. God doesn't lead you. And he doesn't protect you the way he would because when you waste your money on this fucking shit that you don't need to survive, you are robbing God. Malachi chapter 3 says, you are robbing him of tithes and offerings. It's no wonder you don't know God. He doesn't direct you like he directs me because he makes me obey and pray that he will make you obey because I'm not bragging about me. I'm bragging about Hashem. Adonai, Elohim, the most high God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he makes me obey. And so this program is like a joke to the Lord. And he makes it like it's a joke to me because it's not a big deal. UTIs piss me off more than the, all these agents that surround me, even the upstairs neighbor. They kept hitting my throat. Some of you TIs are hit this way. Some of you aren't. They'll hit your throat with something that causes an intense itching. It's almost painful. And it will cause you to start choking and coughing and hacking. And it used to do that to me. But the power of, the God, of God and his Holy Spirit is so strong that I'll just feel it. And they were doing I just finished praying in the Sabbath. I was late because I was playing video games and sinning against the Lord. I asked for forgiveness. But it was pretty close to, to sunset by his grace. He empowered that. But most of the time that I was praying, I'm assuming it's my upstairs neighbor, they were hitting my throat with this DEW. You know what? It was kind of like, almost like a pleasant little tickle. It caused a little bit of phlegm to build up. <clears throat> cleared my throat and it, was, it wasn't even an issue. Instead of... <coughs> Why? Because I get to know the Lord. I get to experience the Holy Spirit being a shield and a buckler to me. And absorbing all of that. So I feel that I know what they're doing, but it's really not a big deal. Why? God makes it not a really big deal because God absorbs it. God shows me from it. Because I got to know God. Why? Because he brought me to start praying at least two hours, 24 minutes a day. And, and nowadays it's more like four hours a day. And he's been making me give sacrificially. With that money that I give away, I could have cable. I could maybe buy a computer have internet i could do i could have i could have a netflix or go to the gym i could do something with that money because i give away over six hundred dollars a month because the lord makes me do it not because i'm bragging about myself you who refuse to give and want to demonize anyone who does i'm a teacher and a preacher and so i'm supposed to tell you what i'm doing to let you know that god is making me live what i'm telling you to do you don't know the Lord. When you go to numerology, it is a distraction. You are supposed to be going to God, to the Bible for direction and for hope, not to numerology, not to the stars, not to things that happen like comets or eclipses or whatever the heck. You're not supposed to be going to that stuff. You know, I apologize for cussing. I know some of you You'll use that as an excuse to dismiss everything I said because you ain't going to obey God. Anyway. You're not going to open your wallet. And you will never experience the fullness of God's presence like I do and watch him just rule this program and make this program like it's not even, like it's nothing. It's easy and it's light. Once you T.I. start doing that and forget the mysticism and spiritism that's not of the Bible, a lot of the stuff I'm seeing UTIs turn to, it's not in the Bible. I told you, I have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation 25 times. Okay? I've listened to the Bible from Genesis to Revelation on Bible apps many more times. I've seen specific documentaries on specific books of the Bible, almost on all 66 books, just to get a better, deeper understanding. 
It ain't in there. You're not going to find numerology in there. You're not going to find turning to the stars and things that happen in the stars. You turn to God. And if you do what I told you to do with your prayer and with your tithing, and you help start saving human beings' lives, instead of worrying about having fun and lifestyle with your money, while they're targeting you the whole time, whether you're at a movie or you're on a cruise or you're on a vacation. I've seen this with TIs. And they're being targeted. But they still going to waste their money on this shit. And they're not going to help the poor. Because you are robbing God and you are in rebellion against him. That's why you don't know him. That's why you're trying to turn to prognostication, the stars. Some of you turn to mediums and psychics and occultic practices and beliefs. Numerology, angel numbers and all this stuff. And you are missing the mark. I'm telling you, God can carry you through this program. In a safe, sound, sane, smooth, successful way. In such a way that your life will get better and better to the point of thriving. As the months and the years pass, if you are consistent with what I tell you to do, which is all in the Bible, in the very midst of all this targeting. I send them my love to all you beautiful born again TIs. God bless.